Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and I'm here with a requested video, which is what's in my diaper bag. I watched a few of these videos on YouTube already, and I found that they were actually really helpful. It's a good way for us moms to kind of share products with each other. So before I get into all the things that are in my diaper bag, I do want to let you guys know that this is also a giveaway video. You guys can win the same exact diaper bag that I'm about to show you, so make sure you watch until the very end, and check out the description box for all of the giveaway details. My daughter, Zaya, is two months old. She'll be three months old really soon oh my gosh she's growing up so fast but yeah she's two months old so these products are kind of geared towards a two month old or kind of like a newborn still obviously these things will kind of change as your child gets older so the first thing I want to do is show you guys my new diaper bag I got a brand new fancy diaper bag and this bag is from the brand called baby bow it says it right there and a baby bow is basically just a brand that creates stylish diaper bags for chic mommies but while they're also so stylish and extremely high quality leather bags that kind of just look like handbags from the outside. They're actually super functional diaper bags on the inside. So this is the multifunctional changing bag. It's called the Isabel Tan from babybow.com. And as you can see from the outside, it's just a really high quality leather bag. Like you would never even know that this was necessarily a diaper bag. It just looks like a really cute handbag. I love this tan color and I especially love the fact that the hardware is gold. But when you unzip the bag, that's when you know Notice that this is actually a diaper bag because it actually has a little separate bag on the inside that clips into the interior of this bag. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six snaps in here that you just pop out and then you just pull this one out. And when you pull it out, you'll have this bag. So now the outer shell is just a really spacious handbag and it even has like the typical side zipper pocket that a normal handbag would have. And it has a really nice kind of like a nylon type of material on the inside so that you can kind of wipe it out if you need to. And basically now this is just a handbag. You can use this as an overnight bag. You can use it as whatever type of bag you want to use it for. So this striped interior bag here is what has all the baby stuff in it. And it's kind of nice to have this secondary layer just in case anything spills, you can wash this one without messing up your leather bag. So if you unzip this one, you will see all the accessories that come with this bag. It comes with a dust bag for storage. It also comes with the secondary strap. So in case you don't just want to carry it by the handles, you can also hook this strap on and carry it across your body. This strap can hook onto the original leather bag or you can also just hook this strap onto this bag and carry it separately. Also inside of here, it comes with what I like to call the mommy pouch or the mommy wallet. I feel like this is the perfect little thing to put all of your mommy stuff in if you don't want to carry a separate purse for your stuff. You can easily slide your phone, your lip gloss, your gum, whatever, your keys into this bag and have it separate from all of the baby stuff. And it also turns into a wristlet. So right now it's connected onto the bag, but if you unhook it, take the hook that was connecting it to the bag, hook it back onto itself, and now you have a little wristlet that if you just need to run somewhere, you can just take your little mommy wristlet and go off and run your errands and you don't have to take a whole purse or the whole diaper bag. Also inside of this bag, you have the actual changing pad. I've definitely had experiences where I've been out with Zaya and I did not want to just lay her down on whatever service was available, whether it be a changing table in a public restroom or some other random surface when I have to change her diaper while we're out. Having a changing pad is a lot better than just laying them down on whatever so this one is really really cute you open it up and it has the matching stripes on the inside and it's a nice big changing pad to change diapers on top of but wait there's more with this changing pad you can actually take this striped part off it's velcroed and as you can see there's storage inside of this changing pad there's one two zipper compartments one that kind of has the clear plastic and one that has the mesh so you unzip these and you can actually store stuff inside of the changing pad as well and then it makes it really easy to wash the pad because you just take this part off by itself and you wash this and the very last extra piece that comes inside of this bag is this which i believe is the perfect shape to hold what do you think a bottle it's almost like a sunglasses case, but for a bottle. Like, you know how sunglasses case, they are very sturdy. It's like a separate thing so that your sunglasses don't get knocked around inside of your bag. This is kind of a similar idea, but for a baby bottle. So that's all the extra pieces that come inside of this bag. But of course, within this bag, it comes with its own compartments as well. It has a zip 
zipper compartment right here and it has a bunch of little pockets going around the whole perimeter of the bag if you can see inside of there. So with everything that's all included in this whole bag, you should never run out of space. You should never run out of compartments. So like I said, this video is a giveaway so you can win the same exact bag with everything I just showed, all the extra pieces, everything I just showed. You can win one for yourself and all you have to do is check the description box for all of the giveaway details. I definitely wanted to give away one of these bags to one of my fellow mamas out there because it's honestly so cute and so functional and we can be twinsies. So now that I've told you guys all about my diaper bag itself, let's get into what I actually carry in the bag. So this is a diaper bag video, so it only makes sense to include diapers, obviously. I always try to keep at least four or five diapers in the diaper bag at all times. More is more, you never know. You might have a really poopy day and you don't wanna run out, so put as many as you feel is best. I always try to keep four or five. These diapers are the Baby Organics brand that you can get from Target. I try to lean more towards organic diapers just because organic is better at the end of the day. I also really like the Honest brand diapers. I actually use the Honest wipes. I got a fresh pack of wipes here. This is like the little travel size, so it's really flat and good to throw in your bag. These are just the regular Honest wipes, and I just really like the Honest brand. I like what they stand for. I like that they use all natural um, ingredients and stuff like that. So that's the diapers and wipes, but also in the diaper category, I like to also keep a little handy little travel tube of diaper rash cream. You never know when you might need it and it's no use in carrying a whole bottle of it. So I like these little to-go packs that you can get. This is just the uh, Desitin brand. And sometimes when you're on the go, it's kind of like, what do I do with this dirty diaper? Well, they have little diaper bags that are basically the same exact concept as a poop bag for your dog if you guys have dogs and you have the little bags that you pick up the poop with this is basically the same concept but for dirty diapers it's just a little dispenser it actually has like a little keychain clip so you could carry it on your keys if you wanted to and it just has a little roll of bags in here that you can take out the next little category of stuff that I keep in my diaper bag is kind of like the skincare category if you want to call it that I always keep a little baby bottle of baby lotion this is just the Johnson's you know traditional pink bottle baby lotion that we're all familiar with I know that some people don't like Johnson's anymore we don't have to talk about it but this is just my favorite scent of baby lotion it's really mild it's, it's an old favorite like I still like it and I always keep a little mini thing of lotion for myself as well because I find myself now that I have Zaya I wash my hands a lot a lot a lot more often because you know trying to keep germs away and my hands get really dry and cracked so I like to have little bottles of lotion everywhere just in case so that I'm not walking around ashy and this is one of those things that I would keep in my my mommy wristlet. Speaking of not wanting germs, I always carry around hand sanitizer. You just have to be more aware of being clean when you have a kid, obviously. So I keep hand sanitizer. I like the spray hand sanitizer just because it's easier, it's faster. This is also by The Honest Company, the same company that I was talking about with the wipes. This is just, you know, a nice little spritz. Spritz here, spritz there, spritz, spritz your family and friends before they touch the baby, you know, spray, you know. Just make sure. And if you're ever looking for travel size items, Target actually has a whole section, like a whole aisle of everything travel size. And I also like to carry some baby sunscreen in my diaper bag as well. This is by Baby Ganics as well, which is the same brand as the diapers that I show. This is actually a spray sunscreen, so it's much easier to apply. And we have to have sunscreen because I live in Texas and the sunshine here is no joke. It's also summertime right now, so always keep your sunscreen on hand. This particular sunscreen is 50 SPF, it's tear free, and it is water resistant. And I think I've been calling this brand Baby Organics, but it's actually Baby Ganics. Baby Ganics, all one word. So even though you may feel like you have plenty of extra diapers in your bag, you always wanna carry an extra outfit because we all love those poop explosions that go out the side of the diaper and get all over the clothes, or sometimes you might have a really big spit up or a really big spill or something. Just, it's, it's bound to happen that they're gonna mess up their outfit that you took them out in. So I always keep an extra outfit or two because Zaya is pretty messy in the diaper bag. It doesn't have to be anything super cute or, or fancy, honestly, you should just throw in something comfortable because after you've had a long day and they've had a long day they're probably going to change into something comfortable rather than like a cute frilly dress and also you don't want to ball up a frilly dress and throw it in the bag so just something comfortable like a regular cotton onesie and then just some little leggings or something like that obviously it has to go
go with the season and then also some socks of course we want to try to avoid having to change into the extra outfit at all costs so you also want to make sure that you have some safety precautions um, so burp cloth Burp cloth is a must for Zaya. She spits up like nobody's business. So this is just one of those burp cloths that you throw over your shoulder like this. You burp the baby, they spit up onto the cloth instead of onto your shirt. Also, she is actually getting big enough to just wear a bib on her own because she drools and she spits up and everything. So sometimes I just like to slap a bib on her, let her catch her own drool. So this is just a cute little bib. It's by the Circo brand, which is at Target. And why not just throw in an extra washcloth just in case because you never know, you can never have enough things to wipe things up with. Speaking of wiping things, this is one of my more newer finds that I recently found out about. These are pacifier wipes. They're different than the actual, you know, diaper wipes. These are specifically made to clean off stuff that's gonna go into their mouth. So if you drop the pacifier, which we all inevitably do, or the bottle or the teething toy or whatever it may be, you can have these wipes on hand, pull a wipe out, wipe it down, disinfect it, and then you can give it back to the baby without having to scramble and find a sink and soap and water and all that stuff. So I thought this was a really, really great idea and these definitely come in handy. And so then of course we have the pacifier itself. Zaya will only take one type of pacifier, one specific one it's by the brand called ma'am or mom m-a-m and it's just this little one here so we have like a million of them i always make sure i just keep one in the diaper bag keep one in my bedroom keep one in her nursery keep one in the kitchen that way you're not scrambling for that one same pacifier and you're looking for it when you get ready to leave just keep one that lives in the diaper bag and always stays in the diaper bag the clip is by the same brand as the pacifier you just buy it separately and it's just a little clip it hooks on it crows on and then it has a little snap on the end so you can snap it onto their onesie that way they don't lose it because it's attached to them at all times another little extra thing that I like to carry around and have on hand no matter where I'm at is called gripe water and it comes with a little syringe it's a liquid you just shake it up you use it with the syringe and shoot it into the baby's mouth and it's basically just a natural remedy for hiccups well I mostly use it for hiccups it's also just kind of for gas and colic and overall fussiness but it works like a charm Arm for hiccups and it also just kind of seems to calm her down in general so a lot of you guys may know that I am actually breastfeeding Zaya she really does not drink formula ever because I pretty much am always around to breastfeed her but in case you never know it's always good to have a bottle and some formula on hand Zaya is extremely fussy when it comes to bottles so we've been basically trying all different types of bottles for a long time now the bottle that we're currently trying is called the Como Tomo it's a really high rated bottle it's supposed to be like the best of the best so you guys can check it out for yourselves so I'll put the link down below but it's kind of got like a squishy bottom to it I don't know we're trying it out and the formula that I have is just infamil formula and you can get these little individual bottles of it rather than buying like a whole big thing of powder or a whole big thing of the big liquid just getting these little individual ones is a lot better because I know I'm like never gonna use it so if I open a big thing of it it's gonna go bad before I ever use it so it makes more sense for me to just use the individual ones speaking of breastfeeding I always have to carry around my nursing pads because us breastfeeding mamas we like to leak and we like to randomly start leaking and it goes through your bra and it goes through your clothes and then you're walking around with two wet spots right here for the whole rest of the day so you can try to stuff some toilet paper in there I've done that before when I've forgotten to bring my nursing pads but these nursing pads are life I cannot live without these I'm currently using these disposable nursing pads they're the up and up brand just from Target I get a big box of them because I go through them like crazy they're individually wrapped and they have little sticky things on the other side so you can stick it into your bra so they stay in place I like to carry around at least two sets of these at all times just in case so I typically carry around two blankets one that I call the yucky blanket and one that I call the good blanket the yucky blanket is kind of more of a cloth like texture and it's one that I inevitably end up using as a towel or that she poops on or she spits up on or whatever and then I keep basically just a backup blanket or a nice softer thicker just nicer blanket that's more for actually you know using as a blanket and since Zaya is two months old now she is getting to the point where she can actually play with toys and be entertained by toys so I do carry around a few different toys I like to kind of switch it up because she might get bored of the same thing all the time so I kind of just throw in random toys every day this is her little monkey rattle it has like you know rattle on the inside but really honestly what always works besides the toys besides her pacifier and everything 
the sound machine. We cannot live without the sound machine in my household. This is the secret weapon for Zaya. This can be um, purchased at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, this is just the older model. They have the same one, but it looks a little bit different now. And it has a couple of different options on here. It has thunder, ocean, brook, summer night, rain, and white noise. White noise is the one that I use for Zaya, and it sounds like this. So it's just literally like static white noise and it's so hypnotizing to Zaya whenever she's fussy, whenever she needs to go to sleep, whenever she just needs to calm down in general, just crank this up to its highest volume and she will instantly calm down. So it's kind of a big bulky thing to carry around and I know that I can get, you know, an app for my phone and I do have the app for my phone, but I find that this gets louder than my phone and for Zaya, she needs it to be a blasting so that it's the only thing that she hears. So I really just carry this whole big speaker around that way I can blast it whenever I need to so this last thing is kind of optional I don't always carry it with me but sometimes I do especially if I know it's gonna be like a long day out I will bring her baby carrier and I have the K tan carrier it's like a wrap style carrier um, if you guys watch my blogs so you have seen me wear it before but it kind of condenses down pretty small actually so I can actually put this into my diaper bag and take it with me on the go if I know that we're gonna be out for a long time and I I want to maybe carry her that's basically the last thing of course there's probably a whole slew of other optional things that I could be carrying around and you know depending day to day there might be a few extra things that I throw in but that's basically all the main stuff that I would typically have for an everyday basis and those are all the things that I keep packed in my diaper bag at all times I really think a good tip is to just keep your diaper bag packed at all times that way whenever you're going out the door it's just ready and you just grab it and you go out the door you don't have to take that extra time trying to make sure you have everything in there so if that means you need to buy two of something or three of something just go ahead and do it and keep that extra set in your diaper bag at all times it may seem like a waste of money to have two of something but honestly you will appreciate it when you're not having to repack your diaper bag every day and typically I would just carry the diaper bag and also carry my purse at the same time because I have my vlogging camera and I'm kind of like overkill when it comes to my purse I keep a lot of stuff in there so it's just easier for me to have two separate bags but I don't necessarily have to do that like I said I could just pare down and put the things that I really really need in this little wristlet that comes with the diaper bag and throw this in the bag and then just carry one bag I could definitely do that but to be honest with you guys I don't do that I just carry the diaper bag and my purse but you know to each their own so yeah guys that's everything that I carry in my diaper bag I hope you guys found this video fun and helpful give it a thumbs up if you did and do not forget to check the description box down below if you would like to win this same dark bag with all the accessories that come inside of it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.